Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. December 1st, Thursday. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 25, and John 3.30. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent... Its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. He must increase, but I must decrease. Amen. Into this season pushes the unkempt, unwelcome figure of John the Baptizer. You remember him. He is dressed in a hair shirt. He eats wild honey and such other gifts that he can forage in the rough. He comes in anger and demanding, with threats and insistence. He speaks really only one word, repent. Recognize the danger you are in and change. In the gospel narrative, John embodies the best and the last of the old tradition of Torah demand. He has this deep sense of urgency about the world, but it is not an urgency of newness. It is an urgency of threat and danger and jeopardy, one that we ourselves sense now about the world. He comes first in the story. He comes before Jesus. He is the key player in the Advent narrative. When Jesus appears on the scene, John the Baptizer immediately acknowledges the greatness of Jesus, greater than all that is past, greater than John, greater than all ancient memories and hopes. When Jesus comes into the narrative, John quickly, abruptly, without reservation, says of Jesus, he must increase but I must decrease. What to do while we watch and wait this Advent season? Move from the large vision of Isaiah to the small discipline of John. If John embodies all that is old and Jesus embodies all that is new, take as your Advent work toward Christmas that enterprise. Decrease and increase. Decrease what is old and habitual and destructive in your life so that the new life-giving power of Jesus may grow large with you. Decrease what is greedy, what is frantic consumerism for the increase of simple, life-giving sharing. Decrease what is fearful and defensive for the increase of life-giving compassion and generosity. Decrease what is fraudulent and pretense for the increase of life-giving truth-telling in your life. Truth-telling about you and your neighbor, about the sickness of our society, and our enmeshment in that sickness. Decrease what is hateful and alienating for the increase of healing and forgiveness, which finally are the only source of life. Advent basks in the great promises. In the meantime, however, there are daily disciplines, day-to-day exercises of Advent, work that requires time and intentionality. Advent is not a time of casual waiting, It is a demanding piece of work. It requires both the outrageousness of God and the daily work of decreasing so that Jesus and God's vision of peace may increase. Let's pray. In this season of Advent, open our hearts to receive the hard word of repentance. Empower us to decrease what is old, habitual, and destructive in our lives so that the new life-giving power of Jesus may grow large within us. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. 
God bless you. Have a wonderful day.